Tell us why this commitment in West Memphis or outside of Memphis, as well as the, uh, the two new plants in Louisville. Why did you pick those locations? Well, good morning, Phil. Uh, this is a really big day for Ford. This is our biggest manufacturing facility in the history of our company. And as you know, we're the number one auto employer in America, so it's a big deal. We picked the locations because uh, we have three battery plants, um, and, and the battery plant locations are very specific. We need affordable energy, we need the environmental approval done, and we need greenfield sites so we don't slow down with any remediation for environmental. Uh, the government support, access to um, skilled labor, these jobs are very different, uh, all of those factors. Um, you know, we need the battery plants really close to the assembly plant. Unlike a powertrain, an ice powertrain, you can't ship batteries uh, far. They're very heavy, and we want them right near the, the plant. So uh, that's why we're building such a big site. It's six square miles of the assembly plant to build new trucks, um, and, and we need the battery plant on site. Jim, you're also going to have, I know you're working with Redwood Materials, uh, which is battery recycling. You're also going to have basically from start to finish, the entire life cycle uh, for the electric vehicle battery on these campuses so that you can say, look, at the end of life, let's recycle it. We have the materials that we can extract from these uh, batteries, the battery cells, put them into new ones. Uh, do you, a lot of people here look at that plan and they say, looks good on paper. I'm not sure that it's going to be something that can be executed in reality. What do you say to that? Well, we disagree. Uh, this is something we studied. We have to do this, Phil. You know, look at the chip situation. We have to insource the batteries. We have to learn how to manufacture them in this country. We can no longer import raw materials from halfway around the world like cobalt. Um, the, these, these materials have to come from North America. We scrap in, in battery manufacturers a lot of batteries. We need to recycle those into the manufacturing process as quickly as possible. And as you said, at the end of life, we have to get those raw materials back into the manufacturing system. I think what you're learning here and seeing from Ford is not just a big investment to elect, scale electric vehicles, a million vehicles worth of batteries in this case, but we are creating a local supply chain that's circular, so we don't have to depend on anyone. And this kicks in, what, 25 is when we see uh, production at the uh, F-Series, electric F-Series plants uh, just outside of Memphis, and the battery plants come online. So do we see real ramp up in production, let's say 25 through 28 and then into 29? Well, look, we're ramping up now. We have almost 20 gigawatt hours. The uh, Mach-E and the F-150 are completely sold out. F-150, we're above 150,000 orders now. So we're, we're not waiting for anyone. We're in the market now. It's show, not tell time. And yes, this is going to be a further ramp up of our battery electric volumes. As I said, a million units worth of battery capacity just for Ford. So do the math. You know, we sell about two, 2 million vehicles in the United States. This announcement alone is a million vehicles worth of battery. So it's a very large scaling. We're not going to tell everyone what the, what the product is, but we have a whole full F-Series lineup. We're the best-selling vehicle in America. Uh, we sell over a million F-Series, and we're going to build lots of new kinds of ground-up battery electric F-Series in this plant.